Good morning, beautiful people. It is 6.30 and we're heading out to get our early morning run in. I actually got up this morning before sun up, but because of this one this morning, we're a little bit late. <laughs> we were supposed to be... What? You're the reason we're late this morning, babe. I know it's moving. Oh. Uh, no, but it's still moving though. <laughs> These bugs out here, y'all. Um, but it's a beautiful day to be alive and to be up. Um, and I'm excited about this morning's run. And then once we're done, we're going to head to the market down the street. We're just gonna get a couple of fruits and stuff like that. Um, our housekeeper is getting some stuff for us this morning. Um, we gave her about 200,000 rupees or rupias. Uh, that's about 12 US dollars. Um, and she's going to grab some stuff for us at the market as well. But we kind of just want to take a stroll down there ourselves as well. We're going to get some dragon fruit and stuff like that, which I'll take you guys along with us. You guys, people in Bali, they wake up super early. There's a fly. People in Bali, they wake up super early, you guys. Yesterday when we went um, to go see the dolphins, people were up. Their shop were set up since like 5.45 in the morning. You guys, they don't play, okay? They're up early, all right? So once we're done with our run, that's going to be about maybe like 7.30 or so. Then we'll just head down to the market. It's literally walking distance from here. So that's what we are going to do. It's so beautiful. Can you hear the birds? I love waking up to these sounds, the sound of nature, like literally. At night, it's way louder, um, but I just love, love being surrounded by nature, you guys. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, the sun is not fully up as yet. By the time we get our run in, it will be up. Being here as well also inspires me or continues to inspire me to you know wake up in the morning catch the sunrise um, you know even though I try to do that uh, sometimes or for the most part um, you know in the US but being here it's just so different it just makes me want to catch the sunrise you know what I mean so yeah anyway <laughs> Our new friend here, he thinks we got food. Here in Bali, you'll see a lot of stray dogs, but for the most part, they are harmless. <laughs> it's not like the US where you where dogs have to be on um, leashes and stuff like that. Here, just a whole bunch of like stray dogs or... <laughs> um, a lot of times they have owners, but they just get out. And I'm actually used to this um, being born and raised in Jamaica. This is the norm. You see dogs out all the time. By the way, I want to show you guys this amazing open land. This is all rice. This is a rice field, you guys. Look how huge this is. And here in Bali, you'll find a lot of them and people just working in the rice fields. And believe it or not, a lot of these people only make around maybe one to four US dollars a day you guys working in these rice fields okay if even so much so this just reminds me to appreciate life appreciate what you have and just make the most of what you have
Yeah. yeah. Twenty for one kilo. Twenty one. Twenty rupee for one kilo. Oh, twenty rupees for one kilo? Yes. Okay. Ice cream. Damn, not ice cream, but I think we're not gonna be. We can share ice cream with Yenny later. It's <laughs> ice cream cake. Eiffel Tower. I don't know if that's ice cream cake or butter. I don't think butter would be the future. Right? Things that she get first. Alright y'all, so we got quite a few stuff at the market today. Um, these two dragon fruits were like, uh, it was 20,000 each, so it was like 40,000 I believe, 40,000 uh, rupees, which is, uh, I don't know, maybe about like $2 or something like that. Um, we got some grapes. This is a, this is not so common here in um, Indonesia apparently, so it's a little bit more expensive. It was like 50,000 for one kilo. So we only got like half kilo. I'm trying it out anyway. But it reminds me of, um, what do you call it back in Jamaica? Oh, the pool guy is here. Hi, morning. <laughs> the pool guy is here, bright and early. It's like about 10 minutes past eight right now. Um, so Yeni should be here in a second. 
but oh man i can't oh guinep guinep yes <laughs> this reminds me of guinep in jamaica it looks just like guinep um the color is just different the one in jamaica that i'm used to is like green but the lady showed me what the inside looks like and it's kind of like soft so and we got some i think these are tangerines or clementine something like that y'all why did i think these were black strawberries <laughs> Does it just look like strawberries? I thought this was strawberries, you guys, but apparently it's some snake. Oh. <laughs> apparently it's some snake. Raymond over here just dropping stuff. Um, but apparently it's called some snake fruit. It's the the outside is kind of hard, and um, the lady showed us the inside, and I tasted it, and it was pretty decent. And I stopped at the this Kmart and got an avocado. This avocado was like seven thousand five hundred um, rupees. Rupees. That's about a uh, little to nothing. <laughs> um, how I how I calculated in my head is that one hundred thousand rupees is six U.S. dollars. So like fifty thousand rupees is like you know three U.S. dollars. So like 25,000 is about, I don't know, a dollar and a half or something like this. So this was little to nothing. I think this was probably a few cents actually for this avocado. In the US, this one avocado is probably gonna cost you like, I don't know, two or three US dollars. And hubby, um, we stopped at this little small store uh, close by and hubby wanted this, uh, he wanted kind of like something soda like. So we got this, I guess it's kind of like a lemon soda. And I got a soda water and this here and um, these three sodas and this little sweet treat right here was about 20, 23,000 uh, <laughs> 23, rupees. So that was about a um, dollar fifty, something like that. Because fifty thousand is three dollars, twenty five thousand is a dollar and a half. Y'all, this wasn't even a dollar and fifty cents, okay, for all of this right here. So in total, we spent a hundred and sixty-five thousand rupees, which is about let's see, let's calculate that. Six dollars, twelve dollars. I don't know, that was about thirteen thousand dollars. Let's calculate real quick. Um, I like to use this app so that I'm more exact. Let's see. I use this XE app and I strongly suggest downloading it as well. Let me see if I can zoom in some. Okay, we can see a little bit. So, we spent, let's see, 165. If you wanna be really exact or if you're a little bit confused with the currency app, I suggest downloading this when you first get here. But try to um, find something that will help you memorize the currency off the top of your head. Right, like for me, I use a hundred thousand rupees to help me be able to um, do the co calculate conversions in my head. Right, so I, like I said before, I know a hundred thousand is six U.S. dollars, so I know two hundred thousand is twelve U.S. dollars and some change. So anyway, oh man, how is that? Yeah, you guys, one hundred and sixty-five thousand rupees is ten U.S. dollars. What? 10 US dollars. Let me calculate back what 100,000 is. Yeah, so see, 100,000 is six dollars and 40 cents. And we only spent ten dollars, you guys. Just think about that. Think about what ten dollars can get you in the supermarket in the United States. Just these dragon fruit alone will probably would have cost you about ah uh, i would say about six dollars dragon fruit is pretty expensive in the u.s right and not to mention we got all of this plus an avocado for only 10 us dollars and some change about to ride our scooters our scooter out in the town Yenny's coming with us she's gonna help us to get some um, ceremonial outfits what do you call the outfits Yenny? Uh, kabaya. Kabaya? Kabaya. Kabaya. <laughs> kabaya yeah for the ceremony tomorrow that happens every six months here in Bali so we're gonna get some outfits for that we're taking a scooter y'all <laughs> 
Okay, let me get on the back of this thing. <laughs> Lord help us. You good? Ooh. You got it, bitch? Yes, hold on to my waist. Okay. Down. All right, let me put the phone down. Bye. Mom. All right, y'all. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> oh, man, that was a ride. How do you feel, baby? Hmm? Superman. <laughs> Superman got us here safely by the grace of God. Okay, let's now look at these beautiful. Hi! <laughs> oh, white. Maybe maybe both of us can wear white. Me and him white, right? Or white and yellow? Right. What? Yeah. White or yellow? If you have. Yeah. It is six, yeah, six forty. We open these curtains, so we are dressed and ready to go for the ceremony here in Bali that happens every six months. Yeah, look at my baby. Look at my handsome prince back there. Hold on, let me see if I can get a close up. Look at my handsome prince over here. Look at him. I've always wanted to see him in. Um, I don't remember what you call these shirts mm -hmm. and the, the head wrap. Oh, but, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> you got to give them a twirl, babe, when you get a chance. He's making us some, um, what's, which, which tea is this? Lemon, lemongrass. Lemongrass that we got from the, um, the coffee place in Bali. Look at my baby. Yenny got him all the way together yesterday. She um, helped us with the this. This actually kind of came, came like this. They stitch it like this, but it's like two pieces. Super dope. I always wondered how they did it. But um, he had to put the white piece on first and then the orange. Actually, no, Yenny yesterday stitched it up mm -hmm. together so it was easier for him to put it on. Look at my handsome prince over there. <laughs> my handsome prince thanks babe but anyway yeah, he's about to come here um get here in about i don't know maybe like 10 minutes because she says she's coming here at 6 40 it's about 6 30 right now so we're just gonna drink some tea real quick and then be on our way <laughs> also we should be taking the um taking our scooter today um i'm a little bit nervous because the distance is a little bit further than what we drove yesterday so but we'll be following Yenny and <laughs> we'll see but I'm super excited about this ceremony even though it's somewhat a, it's a Hindu ceremony I mean even though we are Christians we still want to experience the uh, the cultural difference you know and just get a different perspective you know what I mean so 
Yeah, and it's something that happens only once every six months and we're here, so you know, why not um, take advantage and experience that. So um, it's where pretty much everybody in Bali, especially this area, apparently what Yeni was telling me, people are more religious. So they pray at six in the morning, then they sing at 12 in the afternoon and they pray again in the evening. And so pretty much everybody's going to be at this ceremony that's happening at 7 a.m. at like uh, the temples and stuff like that. So I will um, be sure to share clips and pieces of that as well. So. So this is what I'm wearing guys. I'm trying to tie this uh, thing around my waist nicely. You can see that. I think it's called Serran. Yeah, I think it's called Serran if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, I'm tying a nice bow at the side and then I'll show you guys my, my full outfit. Hubby and I are kind of matching somewhat. I love this skirt though. It's a good quality skirt. This skirt was like 240,000 rupees, which is about 12, 13. I don't know, maybe like. just want to show my foot up. So, this is the skirt. I'm just wearing some flats. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> so, Hubby and I are basically matching today. We're going to definitely take some pictures. That sounds like Yanni. I hope that's her because she's awake. Okay. Okay, stand this thing off. Come on. 